What's up, YouTube Nation? How we doing today? Hope everybody's enjoying their winter and their holiday season. We're gonna put some fish in the boat on an unbelievably beautiful day. Check it out. Guys, it does not get better than this. This is December. I mean, come on now. This is, I mean, really? So we're gonna go out there and put a bunch of slabs in the boat. The fish have continued to get bigger and bigger and bigger on my lake and we're gonna put a bunch of them in the, in the live well. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep some fish or not today. We still got that fish fry, of course, in the summer. And so I like to keep winter fish. We'll talk about that today. And uh, anyway, casting on a bluebird day, calm water, although there is a little bit of wind, but we're gonna have some fun. Check this. One of the things I wanted to start off and, and talk to you guys, before we head out there, where we're gonna put all these fish in the boat, is braided line color, okay? I say that slowly because I think a lot of people just think we always fish with, you know, the high vis, the high vis fluorescent. And obviously we do a lot of that with live scope. And I was gonna tell you guys why. Why do we choose to use a high col vis color? Why not black? Why not this moss green that everybody uses? And the reason why is you wanna see the braided line above the surface. It makes it a lot easier for us to identify where our baits are if we can see the braid on the surface if we can't identify it really quickly in the water column. Now, if I was only fishing on feel, in other words, I wasn't really fishing with live sonar, I wasn't really looking at following my bait, I think a moss green, I think a black would be perfectly fine, and I think it would be more vis less visible uh, to fish on the surface, to a lot of things, and I think there's a benefit there. If you're gonna be completely feel fishing, which is our old way of doing it, right? That's the way, the only way we used to do it, is just completely feel, but now that we follow those baits and we really wanna know where it's at, High vis is super important to know and identify where your bait's at on live sonar. All right, one last thing. We're gonna update our Garmin. Bottom line is we have an update available. So I'm at the stage right now where if there's an update available, I do it. I don't even jack around. I know that I have a really good picture going right now, but I now have the confidence that regardless of the update, not like back in the day when we used to start this, um, I update it. I have confidence that the picture is going to be great. Um, again, that's just me personally. So I update it, try to take advantage of all those updates, and that's what we're going to do right now to the 8660. Ooh, baby. Good fish here, guys. Look at that slab. I'll tell you what, we're going to keep some fish. We might just do a little cleaning. So that's our first fish of the day right there. That is an awesome start to a day. Let's put that in the live well. That's one. So you guys, just like normal, I'm I'm really just sitting back here and casting at it. And this is midday. We got water temperature of 51, which is kind of where it's been. Now we've got some warm days here that are definitely gonna even warm it up even more probably. But 51's kind of been the been what we've been fishing. Uh, blast the cold, and then all of a sudden we get these warm temperatures here in Southern Illinois. Um, and all I'm doing is dropping on them right there. You can clearly see that. And then we're just waiting for that movement. Um, and we we do all of this uh, on a live TikTok a lot of mornings now. You guys can check me out there on the, uh, lots of fish here, man. Lots of fish here. I'm gonna buzz around today looking for guide trip locations for tomorrow. Still got some availability left for December, so please reach out. Boom. I'm telling you right now, guys, there are some differentiators in this business and this hammer 10 right here freaking i can feel it all fish number two solid eater i'll also say that sniping braid is absolutely freaking smooth and allows you to feel it barely touched it and we put in a fish in the boat Barely touched it, guys. He just barely touched it. Oh, good fish, dude. He just barely touched it. Boy, him. Now, we're out here in the middle of the lake just looking for any type of structure. And about just about everything's holding fish right now. But one of the things I wanted to emphasize uh, to you guys is that boat control is everything when you're doing this type of fishing. Boat control is everything. We know that, right? So A, you have to get really good at working your trolling motor. That's number one. 
can't do it without it learn how to work your trolling motor if you're relying on the key fob that a trolling motor comes with typically these nicer trolling motors come with a, a key you know deal um you got to put it away and you've got to learn to work that that trolling motor with your foot and even if you don't have a great one that has that and you either way learn how to use it it's a big factor in boat control is being able to keep your hands free and working a trolling motor number two and again this is kind of over the top i get it but i'm going to show you anyway and we talked about it the crappie brakes um there's a lot of versions out there right now but i use crappie brakes and this is without a doubt why why is that a game changer it's a game changer because i never have to get off the fish never um constant focus on the fish with live sonar is a big deal and so i recommend getting whatever you're going to get if you're going to use crappie brakes go to ptg give them a call they'll hook you up tell them three pound fishing sent you those hook you up with a good deal um, but that's a game changer and there's different versions they don't have to be on power poles they can be on the back deck of your boat um, so however you're going to do it but just remember boat control is a big part of being able to get on a fish and, and stay on a fish and get some fish to bite personally so um, just a little tip bit there a fishing tip and always check out tiktok i'm telling people i'm pushing their, them to tiktok because every day i'm posting on tiktok all these little things on fishing tips and going live and all that stuff so check it out for sure three pound fishing just go with tiktok you'll see it the shops there everything but a uh, beautiful day out here beautiful day and we've already got what three fish in the boat we've been out here five minutes crazy crazy good fishing this guy's gonna come up here and touch it look at this guy coming right up real slow boom got him another customer good fish too another keeper clicker spot lock is used right there put it in the live well repeat I do use a clicker right down there guys see it makes it nice and easy don't forget where I'm at that one coming up to it even though you can't see it that clearly but right here he's coming up and I'm about to feel him I got there he is he hit it dang it they are all over this hair jig this hair jig's available on the website guys just get the combo pack it's like eight dollars it's ridiculously low and these hair jigs are just on fire and I really do think it comes down to the type of Chanel and yarn that they're using on the body it just gives it a thin look here they come up from the bottom right here guys boom there it is solid eater man solid fish eh, let's go back to some casting here let's see what we got there we go they hitting on casting too they hitting on casting so you're probably curious how the update went the how, update is currently uploading and so it's it's a process of transferring the data to actually the unit itself so it is it's actually in the works of doing that right now as we're fishing and when it's ready it'll let us know and hopefully we can compare if it's done anything So there we are coming in right there. Little jump, just trying to get someone's attention. Oh yeah, we got someone's attention. Here he comes, baby. Oh, we got a good one here too. There it is. Right there, guys. See it? Software updates are available, so we're gonna stall now. Why not? Install now. Continue, yes. So there we go. Let's take a break. All right, guys, we'll take the uh, opportunity to shed some light on some things um, so the new reels are, are awesome very inexpensive 39 bucks um, has three pound fish and it's gonna match up with your hammer tin really nice pops man the hammer tin is an incredible 10 footer I highly recommend it to be your go-to casting rod pitching rod all that great stuff now if you're just hundred percent vertical jigging then I'm gonna say the Savage 13 is the place to go looks feels very similar to the hammer a 13 foot but with the optional 15 and 16 foot sections that you can add to it so it has everything you want so with the hammer 10 man from a casting and just do everything rod this is it hammer 10 at three pound fishing.com check it out there's also some bait stores we have uh, just add water that's here on my home lake uh, obviously PTG down in Grenada Mississippi and there's actually quite a few other ones uh, smaller areas around the country the Midwest that have it as well so Ask your bait shops 
if they would carry the hammer tan they can reach out to me i would love to put it in a bunch of bait shops as well it's just a great solid rod mid seat cork triple a handle double reinforced eyelets um, just robust perfect for christmas and then you have a matching reel option if you choose to go in that direction as well all loaded up with the sniping braid of course and we love it and i'm telling you it puts a ton of fish in the boat by itself so yeah that's it Let's see if this guy's ready here so we just hit restart we'll see how she looks all right guys there it is i don't know looks the same to me easy peasy i don't think it made a I don't know, it looks the same. You tell me if you see anything different though. But we're gonna cast into this real quick, see if we can't catch a fish. First cast with the new update. Um, I, you know, there is a process. You can actually, they actually list all the changes that they make um, when they do do an update. I just honestly, I, there we go. I just didn't look. Great fish, good fish. Look at that. First drop, guys. Come on now. Come on now. All right, guys. What a day. What a day. And it was all oh, solid fish, too, man. Crazy. You got to love days like this, guys. Check out the guide service at threepoundfishing.com. I've got plenty of availability left for the month of December. Although, I got to tell you, getting low but we're going to how about that guys I get much better than that appreciate you for watching please share the video and subscribe as always you gotta love it, it just doesn't get much better you gotta love crappie fishing this time of year take it easy guys